Mildred, you've got complexity, and we've got a perfect way to start off a Sunday. And that is with a little bit of show max action. You're going to see the brand new map that's coming with Season 3, Echoes. You're going to see a little bit of chasm here, a little bit of chasm. How are you feeling about this one? How many times did you fall off the map, by the way? Oh, I fall off the map quite a few times, but I also had some heroic grapples to back up to stay on the map. We're going to have to see if that's the case for Team Grass and Team Roots as well. As we said, lots of bragging rights on the line between these two teams. It might be a Season 3 showcase, but also some of your favorite Halo creators on the main stage against each other. It's all smiles for Echidna as we start things off. She grabs the snipe. Something I want to highlight as well. Two snipers on the map, which is always a good thing to see. Plus, we've got some comms in the background here, which I'm a big, big fan of. It's kind of giving me a little bit of throwback yeah. vibes. On the MLG main stage back in the day. But it also means we're going to not miss one bit of trash talk. Oh. First bandit kill is recorded on the main stage. Echidna picks that up. Also a beautiful phase sniper skin you saw on screen there. Bandit will be down. Realize Spartan already running flag with camo in hand. Realize Spartan's running this one home. I'm sure he's barking out the orders, as he loves to do. Very difficult to hold a megaphone and play Halo there. That's one thing I've noticed. Realize Spartan maybe has to adapt to it. This one should be home. Let's see. Flag is away. Oh. He's oh. He misses the jump. This could be tricky. Needs to pick up the first kill. Three guys bottom middle. Reclaimer and a kid that need to work together here to pick up the kills. Ubernick though, a double on the other side. Makes it three. Might get the overkill here, Ubernick. Eli X, do not show for him. He gets the overkill. Ubernick, welcome to Sunday. Oh my god, what a way to start Championship Sunday for Ubernick. He gets out of his chair for a second and the flag goes down. And it's yelling and we are off to a great start here on CTF Chasm. <laughs> you can be just yelling for the rest of the cast. Nick's gonna run this flag across the map. He's killed everyone. Wait, he's, he's got too far. Comfortable. Too far. But he doesn't know where to put it. This is the problem. Stays alive here. Ooh, Reclaimer is wise to it. And Ubernick, maybe you have to think taking the wrong turn there. He needs a few more laps around Chasm to know exactly where to go. They've been taken down bottom middle. By the way, look at the repulsor for Reclaimer. That's going to be huge on this map. As you can tell, it's really tough to get back up to the second level if you don't have a grapple or a repulsor in hand. Now over to LBT Brandon on Team Grass. Team Roots, three dead, make it four dead momentarily there. Oath is doing some work with the sniper rifle as well. I've seen her in the kill feed numerous times as LBT Brandon takes a moment to step out of production and onto our main stage. Oh, no, 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 on the side of Team Roots. He's had a busy few days, to be fair to him. You know, busy few days, he's been working hard. Take a look at the bandit though in hand. Here's Tackwood starting another run of his own. We get this run going. Now this is where you're going to see the bandit maybe getting used. Maybe it's going to be hidden for a few seconds. Little flank coming in there to stop that flag run momentarily. Two dead here for Team Grass. LBT Team Brandon back on the map. Always good to see. Here's a touch here. By the way, you can just tell the way they're moving this one, moving the flag quite well. Gonna jump up quick and try to bring this flag home. One shot right above me. Might be able to get this one home, but they need to get the return. He's hit this jump though. This is not an easy jump with the flag. He's gone the wrong way. It is not easy to make the jump across that chasm for a reason. You got to jump across a pretty big gap to get that flag home. And a kid now. Being sneaky in the new phase skin, by the way. Getting that flag away. So both flags away from base at the moment. LBT Brandon's got it in his hands for Team Roots. He's also got a bandit in his hands. Let's see a little flag shot coming out bandit. Flag is out. Once again, not an easy way to go across this. There is a way to avoid these jumps this night. Nice job. Gonna sit there at the flag standoff. Commences still 1-0 in favor of Team Grass. An intense flag standoff. But you love to see it. Two teams go back and forth. And we're going to be coming up around 15 seconds as well. Maybe they're just playing around that. Maybe I love these show matches as well, but it comes serious always. Every single time, so much quicker than I imagined it will. Absolutely. If we take a look, some good shots coming in. Assist with the bandit. A kid now with the flag for Team Roots on the other side of the map. A little touch on the flag coming in from Brandon. No. Uh, no, Popping the shields a little bit here. Eli Eggs is going to pick up one. That's going to be one dead here for Team Grass. So Team Roots have the chance to go forward and look for that return. Maybe not. Eli Eggs just played it. Kidna still with the flag in hand. As we listen to a little bit of the comms, you can just hear back and forth. A little bit of damage being exchanged on both sides, but not enough to get a return. And on, during all of this, of course, the time will tick down. Still 7.30 left to play, though. A lot of time on the clock. Uh, the 
Turn comes in. Here we go. Pick it up and put it on the kid that panics. And then relaxes. You see the look on a kid in his face as their teammates are going. So many emotions. And there's the bandit. Doesn't hit the headshot though. Sometimes you've got to pace that dainty grass after the cap, though, find themselves three dead. Three dead. You hear the comms as well. See what Team Roots can do. It's a big cap, though, as we're tied one to one. Took them a few minutes to play, but they win the flag standoff. And if we're honest, it was a pretty pivotal standoff. Look at the commando. Oh! Testing out the uh, extra padding in that certain region of the new skins. It's very important to do. Reclaimer taking advantage of the main stage opportunity to lay as many assault rifle bullets into Ubernick's body as he could. That flag will be returned and got a chance to talk to Real Life Spartan yesterday. He's actually got the whole family in town, which is awesome to see him on the main stage. And he said years ago he never could have imagined that he'd find himself on a Championship Sunday show match here on the main stage, and a big shout out to all of our creators here on the main stage, helping us show off season three content. Yeah, if you get the opportunity, obviously go and give them a follow on their respective channels. Yes, absolutely. Show them some support for what they do for the Halo scene and everybody who loves to create a little bit of content around it. Now, a little double push coming in, but Clayton's got a foul on his hands, by the way. I always say that's foul play, you know what I mean? It's kind of like an unspoken agreement. I don't know, I think on a chance. I think he says a lot about it. I you think on a main stage. Says, says everything I need to know. On a main stage show match based off the we're already seeing bodies being shot. I think everything might be in fair play. We'll take a look at some of the stat outliers. Three were dead for Team Crash. And Eli X right now is 13 and 6. Kid against the camo after completing the uh, level one jump map on the way to get there. Wait, shh, shut up. Wait, shut up, I got camo. Dude. There's one underneath me going. Let's see what she does here. I killed the player. Taboo. Nice little slight bandit combo here. Just taking off the cankles. Ubernake nowhere to go. Oh, Kenna needs the 180 here. Ooh. That's good work in the end. Ubernake and Co. will take down a Kenna. Gotta talk again now that Kevin's gone. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You okay, cool, cool. Big shout out to Jay Gravity. Probably still the most iconic clip <laughs> of Halo Infinite play to date. Shut up. Shut up, I got here. Reclaimer with the commando. That, that works. Still. Goodness me. Double kill for him. Oh, it's going to be bottom middle as well. This might be a triple. It's going to be. Oh, no. This is the melee. Gets it. Doesn't get the kill, though, unfortunately. But has. Oh, sniper. They had to add everything lined up for the overkill. Can that do it in one game? There we go. Let's see it. Reclaimer. Hey. Nice little trade with Tackle. That would be one dead for each side. Eli X coming in with the AR sauce. LBT Brandon says absolutely not. Oh, I got sticky keys coming up on my screen. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Never mind. Never, never good mid game. Never good anytime, really. Never good. <laughs> Gosh darn sticky. In general rule, if something's sticky, it usually isn't. Yeah. Not good. That's a good thing. Something's happening. Camo up in 10 seconds. Grapples into the base. LBT Brandon showed a little bit of tech. He's on the MK, I think, as well. His on mouse and keyboard. Maybe he has sticky keys too. Someone fell off the map. Attack went off the map again. We, we, we said you could fall off this map. Maybe this there's is the nothing most. underneath it. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing at the bottom. A death pit though will await you. Back on board, realized Spartan also picking up some skills with the AR sauce. Yeah, he's got the burn in his hand. I, wanna say, I really want to see a five shot. I feel like we should give one of the creators something. If they get the first five shot that we see on stream, on season three with a new weapon. I don't know if we're allowed to do that, by the way. I don't know if we have anything. And I need power. Well, I know we have no power. We, yeah, we generally don't. We just show up here and pass the video game. But speaking of power, Team Roots, second flag on the board, two to one. So only 325 left on the clock. And still three dead for Team Grass. Team Roots looking to strike while the iron is hot. Three minutes, 10 seconds left. Your last spot. We've got to go forward. Three, four. Ah! Four more. Been alive, he like skips. Another little snipe coming in, managed to pick that flag up. He's gonna run this one. Bit of a jump map coming in here. Oh, just the repulse. Oh! Tackwin to the jaws in. Mouse a keyboard grapple play. It's a hero play from Tackwin. Akinda should be one of the only left players left to run the flag, but she's gone. She stays alive. Go, Brandon, go. <laughs> go, Brandon, go. Go, go. I think we just sang two different songs. I think we're, I think we're pretty much the last player alive. We can't do it. My flag's gonna be returned. It was gonna be a hero run. Brandon also repulses the nade away, lives to tell the tale. I got two dead here. Here they go. 
This can be the, the two time team flag. Here's Ubernick. Just don't fall off. Just don't fall off. He's good. He gets the go-ahead. The green light from the teammates. Gotta make the jump. He's going home. Makes the jump. The kid and I taking down the no shields. Trying to make the hero play. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Double kills enough. I don't think they're gonna be able to cap that one with the looks of things. Real life has got the ball going. Oh, just stays alive with a clamber as well. That is tragedy. On the side of Team Grass, that flag not able to go back. Hero on more with a kid now. Come on, Jen. Blame him. Blame him, Jen. Maybe next time. Maybe next time is the theme of this map, if I'm honest. Eli X, camo in hand. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. Team Reed's three dead. dead. Last camo player alive with camo. Hero! Leave it to Eli X. This man will always hit the shot. Oh! You've seen his clips. Do He's doing it again for the hopes. Over and he shuts down the truth. He's like, I'm the only one who's allowed multi kills in this lobby. Wow. Uber Nick is ruining everyone's fun. This is getting heated. Another black pool coming in. Team Reed's who are running this one, and this could be. A little bit of a gap created. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, you ah. gotta make the no! Try again! Try it again. Try again! Uh, ready? Uh, uh, three, ready? Ready? Two, one. Oh, I got it! Yeah, he's like, don't like, worry. Like, just, just please put the flag down. I got this covered. He doesn't no. make the jump! No! He grapples back up! He grapples back up! He's good! Get up, Mars! Mars on the ground! No! The flag doesn't go in! Why? No! It! Why? Just stole it away! Why are we rolling on the floor? Oh, anyway. Oh, God. He's gonna have a heart attack. He's gonna have a heart attack. 44 seconds left on the clock. Two flags are still out. Okay. Phoenix running it. This could be a time flag if they get the return. It's a flag stand up. Of course it is to end the Oh! Echidna! Killing spree! There's too many medals on the screen! <laughs> 30 seconds left. Echidna... Hosses an 8 across. It does the work for her. Mirror last part moving in now. Surgical. Precise. Precise? Precise. Definitely not a word. It's not a word, but it is now. Goes in with that bandit. Two shields broken. Reclaimer gets it. They're gonna get the return. That'll I think be they it. got the. I think they got the. They got the cap. Yeah. They got the cap. Time cap. There should be music. <laughs> there is the music. <laughs> there's the music. I swear, whenever someone wins a game, there's always music. <laughs> there it is. Team Roots, lots to be proud of there. Game number one goes their way. People don't realize when you play at home, every single time you win a game of matchmaking, you have a full stereo. Yeah, you do. Just press play. Live orchestra. <laughs> it kicks in whenever you win your games at home. And we it costs you thousands, but it's worth it. we take it for granted. Team Grass is going to take that first series. Excuse me, Team Roots takes the first game. CTF Chasm. But don't worry, there's more still to come. <laughs> Escalation Slayer on Cliffhanger. <laughs> That was the most absurd game of capture the flag I have ever commented. I've learned, there's a few things I've learned from that. <laughs> not, not many. What is <laughs> there's a few uh, things I certainly did learn. a few things I saw. I don't, yeah, know, if yeah. I don't know if I learned anything. You can fall off the map. We were warned. <laughs> you can definitely uh, Second one is, that jump is a little bit more difficult to make with a flag in your hand than maybe some of the players really grass, by the way, here. They had everything coming home. Flag coming home. Look at this shot from Eli, though. Gets the dub. Cross the map on tackle. And look at this. Was Uber set Nick up for the triple ruins everything. Uber Nick says absolutely not. Eli X is not oh, this flag. And that's what kicked off our final flag standoff, and it was one for the record books. Oof. Last second stop from Tackler. This nade from Jeb, Look by at the this. Way. Look at this. From Echidna. Absolutely. The double nade. The two cap ready. Cluster lock, killing spree, runner stopped, Hail Mary, flag joust, double Hail Mary, double kill. That's how my Gentiles went with <laughs> this meta was awesome. What a set of plays there. Real Life Spartan pops off. And they will take that first game in our CTF Captain Showcase. But you could say we saved the best for last. Yeah. An escalation Slayer on Cliffhanger. And as you heard on the desk earlier, a little bit of gun game coming into Halo Infinite. And it will be fun to see a few different tiers of weapons as these two teams will unlock different tiers as they put more kills on the board. We're going to be showing it off on the brand new map, Cliffhanger. Yeah, and it's not just an individual performance where you level up as well. The Kind of you can choose to upgrade for everyone on your team right when the total amount of kills and damage gets crossed so all of a sudden you'll see an option a, a countdown a timer sometimes like do you want to swap weapons you got six weapons if, uh, six seconds if you have to and then you can see those weapons change out a little bit of a test going on the stage for everyone just to get comfortable before we jump into our second game what's your favorite bit of season three you've seen so far by the way i know you've only seen one game 
What? I mean, it's hard not to say the bandit, right? It's hard not to be super Street. stoked on the bandit, as you said. I think it's a uh, precision weapon that's really rewarding. You can really outshoot, outskill opponents as well, which I think is what a lot of players are looking for, especially when it comes to uh, a weapon like that. I think a lot of people are excited. But still one more game to play on the stage here for these two squads. And let's not forget, Team Roots with an opportunity to 2-0. Team Raz can end this one 1-1 one, one, and things will stay respectable. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the, the bragging rights will be shared on the stage. By the way, seeing real life Spartans stare down at a camera lens at me, shouting at me like that, I was having PTSD from my childhood. Yeah. Been well, there we, before. Yeah. Fortunately, we're on time, we don't have time to get into the stories right now. Wearing. Actually, uh, I might lose you for the rest of the day. My, my parents yeah. weren't wearing Molnir. <laughs> they weren't wearing Molnir. No. Okay, well, it's only because Molnir hadn't come out yet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> forward on the map number two now. And it is going to be es Escalation Slayer here and a chance to tie things up. Like you say, to share the spoils between the two teams. What does Team Grass have in the backpack? What can they find to make sure that they tie this one up? We'll have to see. Most importantly, it's been a blast here. Thank you for joining us for this Season 3 Showcase to kick off Championship Sunday. Been a pretty wild way to start the day and we really wouldn't have it any other way. Checking out all oh social my. maps and modes. Brandon going for the airstrike. He'll get the hit marker. Oh, and here we go. So just to get everyone up to speed, if you're just joining us here, Escalation Slayer, as you can see, everyone starting on this first tier currently with sword, excuse me, with the cinder shot, rockets, as well as the repulsion. And then you can see they're going to be leveling up to get that sword available. Oh, and Team Root's in a little bit of a lead here, getting closer. So most kills going to them off the, off the break. And now they have this, you can see, they've already upgraded. So they're going to have swords available. Next up is the sniper rifle for them. Yeah, as you can tell, you can keep an eye on which teams are upgrading and how close they are and how many points they're putting on the board. Take a look at that timer as well. You can choose to opt into the loadout if you're ready. However, the loadout will be forced on you after the timer. That's just to make sure that if you're in an engagement, what? you can make sure to win that engagement first. Everything getting a little bit Star Wars top mid at the moment. Those kills are going to be good enough, and all of a sudden, Team Grass have stepped it up a little bit here. They have taken the lead. They are pretty close. Here he goes. And that's better than I do. I thought that that was a bad move, but it looked like a pretty good one. Here he comes. Tackwood's traveling. Picks up another one, and if you've seen Tackwood's clips on Twitch and Twitter, you know that this guy is an absolute monster with the stuff that he can do, especially with something like a grapple sword. Three dead at the moment for Team Roots. Sniper rifles. Being used this incredibly, look how efficient that was, by the way. They can force the next loadout in five seconds. They had the sniper rifles for what felt like one round of kills. There's Taquin with just a hydrate, gets the assist and the help that comes in. And really, quite a unique map here, of course, by Pangas. Unlike anything else currently in the suite, and he eventually gets the melee on Echidna, and you can hear her on the other side of the stage. <laughs> I would say it's got one of the biggest man cannons I've ever seen, ever witnessed with my own eyes. Sniper rifle, still in the hands here of VLAX. This is the weapon I think if he could choose out anything in the sandbox throughout Halo history, he'd like to have in his hands. It's extremely proficient. We saw what he was capable of in the last game. Of course, there's one against Oath. See if he can do it again. New loadout coming in five. He's only got another second to hit the shot. And it will be swapped out just as he... Ooh. <laughs> Ubernick exchanging the favor and taking down Eli X for the second time in a 1v1 in this series. Here comes Oath. Grapple shotgun. Either. Everything went from long range to short range very, very quickly here. There's one for her, not going to be able to turn two, though. But now we see real life spawn. Trying to add to his tally. A little bit of dance around the rocks at the moment. Nobody really having the better of each other, but that'll work. Repulse are in intensity. Extreme intensity, as you would expect in the real-life spot. What I absolutely love is this is some wild, wild mix of Fiesta++. Plus Plus. This is the X-rated version of Fiesta. Just absolute carnage across the map. And, of course, everyone slowly on different tiers. Then the same tiers catching up to each other right now. Five to four in favor of Team Grass. It's still that Bulldog, Needler, Grapple here for Eli X. And to be honest, Eli X with a grapple in any scenario. doesn't matter the weapon you put in his hand. This man can put clips on the screen. Finally goes down though, but look how close they are to leveling up. They've just managed to do so, so now it's shock rifle time. Things about to start getting a little bit spicy, a little bit shocky. Certainly gonna be some electrifying kills in this lobby. Oh, he's gonna pick up one. Also gonna have that stalker rifle as a secondary and the drop -off. 
you and I are talking about that drop ball being more and more influential and competitive, and you can bet here in a social setting also going to be quite a factor. As you say, shock and stalker rifle as well. If I'm honest, a shock, stalker, and a drop ball is one of the most OP things that I can think of. Yeah. And now you have it as the class for all the players on the screen. But it swaps just as fast as we say it. Now to the heat wave sentinel thrust. Team Gross, starting to establish a little bit of a gap here. And Louis V. Titan is stepping up as well. Dakwood just did something. Did something. I don't know what it was, but they only hear those noises when something good happens on Halo. When something absolutely wild happens. Now, just to give you an idea, this is tier number eight of the total tiers. You still have Team Roots on that tier six. And only about three left here. Plenty of time on the clock, so we will see those final tiers if things get even more wild. See if Echidna can start to pull this back a little bit here for Team Roots. A couple of headshots with the shock rifle certainly will do so. At the moment, it's just going to be the death screen and the exact same move that you used to get out of bed. <laughs> exactly. Now to Dakwin. AR sauce here. Finds a weapon on the ground, eventually gets taken down by the Stalker Rifle of Reclaimer, and that's absolute carnage as you'd expect, top mid. Team Roots, though, trailing a bit here. Realize Spartan doing what he can to get the team now on their seventh tier. Mangler's available, and oh my, look at this. Now we've got the Oddball and also got the Shroud screen. So we've got a little bit of a combination, which is going to be interesting to watch on the other side. I don't know what happened there. You can tell. But Jen was about to throw hands. A kid that gets uh, out mangled, if that's even a thing, by Uber Nick and she uh, could do nothing but laugh and maybe pop up off the stage and exchange some trash talk down Uber Nick's way. And Taquin still running top middle as well. The ninth tier for Team Grass. They're getting They're closer. That angler tier, and guess what's last? Wait till you see it. It's just the oddball. Just the oddball. <laughs> Oddball and the Shroud Screen. It's almost like they all just went, wait, what? <laughs> like, what are we meant to do here? You have to build a connected it's like going to network of tunnels of Shroud Screens and go for these Oddball Melees in order to win the game. It's a good opportunity to talk about the Shroud Screen a little bit. You can see how it works, what it looks like, how effective it can be. Gotta wait for that one to charge back up, though. That's need to build this tunnel, though. Maybe a chance here. Oop. Here we go. Into the smoke. Ah! No! gets battered. No shroud screen available for a few more moments. Brandon's trying to survive until he gets it. Now he can reset a little bit. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Here he goes. Oh, 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 gets another one. He's an oddball king. And it's getting closer and closer to Team Grass calling themselves the kings, and that will be it. Ubernick pops off. And we have our result here in the show match, and as always, Thank you so much to our creators on stage right now. That was an absolute blast. It seems only fitting that with the amount of talent on the stage, fantastic personalities, that they will tie one-to-one -one in our show match here, each exchanging a game on new maps and game types and smiles across the board as we got to see a little bit of a sneak peek of what's to come in Season 3. As we say, it's going to be available before you know it as well. I think a lot of people are very excited about this update. Then this new season that is around the corner, both on the social, on the casual, and the competitive side, a lot to offer for everybody who loves Halo Infinite. And I, I gotta say, I can't stop thinking about the Bandit Rifle. Exactly. I can't stop. Got a couple of five shots earlier. Surprising to hear, I know, maybe to many. But boy, does it feel good. It, it's a real opportunity with that gun to outshoot people again and really feel like you've won a, an individual engagement. Yeah, it does. And what's cool, that, that was completely a social look, right? We're looking at social maps, we're looking at social modes there in Escalation Slayer. However, as you say, there are things to be really excited about on the competitive side. Where exactly does the bandit 